Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so a quick video today on one of my most loved products and it is a product called Undo. Now this is a product that I discovered in the planner community and it is used for removing stickers. But the best part of all is once you've removed the sticker, it does not lose its stickiness. So you can pop it back on the sticker backing and use it later. Or if you've put it in the wrong place and you just want to reposition it, easy, just reposition it. Now because the product contains um, lots of different chemicals, it does smell extremely bad. So it's important not to inhale it, but it does say that you can use it for removing adhesives, tapes, gum, tar, crayon, lip balm, grease, and more. Now I have not tried it for any of those things. I have purely used it for in my planner and I've used it for the odd occasion when I've purchased something from the shop and you know how it comes with a sticker on there and you try and remove it and it doesn't come off, it just starts tearing. I've used it to get it off with this and it works perfectly every time. Now, this product, I'm in Australia, so I purchased Undo from Bunnings, which is like a, um, a mega store where you can purchase all sorts of hardware and home, um, things to do with paint and all that sort of stuff. So if you go to Bunnings and look in the paint section, you will find Undo there. And the last bottle I purchased, which as you can tell was recently, um, cost me $13.95, so $14 Australian. Alright, so I'm going to quickly show you how to use this product. All you do is you remove the lid, make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room and that your windows are open. And, okay, we'll just quickly have a look here. So let's pretend that I have positioned this sticker here incorrectly. And what I'm going to do is just pour the undo onto that sticker there. Don't panic because it does dry without leaving any um, evidence of the sticker ever having been there. Now, it's important that you put the lid back on after you've saturated the sticker. And the reason for that is that this scraper here on the end of your bottle is what you use to lift the sticker. Okay? Now, I normally leave my undo for 5 or 10 seconds like I've just done. And then you gently use that scraper there to lift the sticker. And it comes off really easily. I barely had to do anything. And there you go. We've got the sticker. Now then what I do is I just lift up the page and I just hold it up a bit and flap it around just to let it dry. And it normally takes about a minute for it to dry up. And normally then your stain that you can see at the moment, it's not really a stain, a wet spot, I guess, disappears. So as you can see, it's evaporating. My air conditioner is on at the moment, so it's going really quick because it's blowing on my desk. So it is now gone. And as you can see, that wet spot is completely gone. I hope you can see that in the camera there. Completely gone. Now, I've still got the sticker here. And it is sticky, sticky, sticky. So you can easily, one, put it back into your book if you have chosen a sticker that you've later decided you don't want to use. Or let's pretend for argument's sake that I actually wanted it up here. I don't really, so I'm going to pop it back in the same spot. I can just put it wherever I did want it, pop it down, and as you can see, it sticks perfectly. It is not lifting anywhere. It is absolutely good as new. So there you go. That is my favorite planning product. I believe anybody who enjoys working with stickers and planning and crafting and card making, whatever it is you do that involves stickers, needs to have a bottle of this on their desk because there's always a time where you put a sticker in the wrong spot and you can't get it off. Now, sometimes... You will have stickers like, I'm um, just having a grab over here, my stash. Alright, so sometimes you will have stickers that have a plastic coating over the top. For example, this sticker here. Now, with these types of stickers, you have to do it a little bit differently to get them off. So, I just want to check 
that we have somewhere that we can do this one. Yep. All right, so I'm going to take off this plastic coated sticker and I'm just going to pop it down here. If I was to pour the undo over the top of that plastic coating, it would do absolutely nothing because it's plastic on top. So to get this one off, just pour it on the back. Make sure the entire sticker is covered. Wait your 10 seconds like you do. Screw your lid back on just as we did previously. And just use your scraper. And there you go. It has come up. It is sticky. And it's good as new. Okay? And same thing, just lift your page and let it dry. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed my very quick quick tutorial on how to use Undo. My favorite product, as I mentioned, it is um, very toxic, so make sure you keep it away from children. It also mentions it is extremely flammable, so I don't actually keep it on my desk. I have one of the IKEA um, wall hangings on my wall, and I keep it up there extremely high so it's out of the reach of little hands. Now, if you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on my favorite planning product, um, I guess it's a planning accessory because it's what we use to help us with our planning, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And make sure that you're following me over on my Instagram page, which is Stationary Happiness, where you'll get to see lots of my creative planner spreads and card making. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.